Good morning, everybody. I wanted to thank all of you who are here on this day to talk about a topic that is obviously near and dear to my heart, but has really become uh, very important to Kaiser Permanente as a whole. Uh, we really see mental health and wellness as uh, a central part of our strategy going forward. At Kaiser Permanente, we take care of 12 million people. That means that somewhere between two and three million people who are in our care have some mental health needs. And for me, I think it's really critical that we as an organization examine very closely what it takes to help take care of those folks. Also to make sure that the right types of services are available and that we're putting our shoulder behind the wheel of creating those types of solutions, both public policy solutions and also market solutions to ensure that people don't have to suffer in silence. I want to put a human face on it. I want people to realize that it can happen to anyone because I have a son who has a serious mental illness, bipolar disorder. I never thought it would happen to me. And it happens to one in four or one in five Americans. One of the things I discover when I give my talk is actually I'm a lucky one. My son got better. There's lots of parents out there whose sons are, and daughters didn't get better. At Kaiser Permanente, we are about total health, mind, body, and spirit. And we really want to emphasize the mind part. And what we're doing is bringing that emphasis to our mental health programming. With Find Your Words, what we're trying to do is break through the silence and break through the stigma that is affecting people with mental health conditions and really those who love them. It's critically important to be reaching the public with a message that says, you know, these are conditions to talk about, to find the words to support somebody um, or to seek help for yourself. It needs to come out of the shadows, and what Kaiser is doing is trying to bring it out of the shadows and really have people literally find their words. And they're also working in a very culturally competent, showing different types of people, people that haven't always been showcased, and that's very important as well. People with mental health conditions are just that, people. We're human beings just like everybody else. A lot of things that show up that people think are symptoms may in fact just be being human. So how can we start with the human and the person first? It's a cross-section of people, so these are all not mental health people. So that's kind of exciting to see that these are people that are advocates, um, they're program people, administrators, government people, uh, people with lived experience, family members. And again, I think if we come um, collectively together, even if our experiences may be a bit different, and that creates this sort of collaborative problem solving. 